Welcome to this HP video discussing the HP Van SDN controller. This video is part of a series of videos discussing the installation and setup of the HP controller. So once a VirtualBox has downloaded, install VirtualBox. So in this example, I'm going to double click on the VirtualBox installation file and click Run. I'm going to click Next in the wizard. I'm going to choose the default installation location. See Program Files Oracle VirtualBox. Click Next. I'm going to choose the default options and click Next. We've shown a warning about network interfaces. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to click Yes to proceed with the installation and then click Install to install VirtualBox. VirtualBox is then installed. You may get warnings about network interface cards being added, such as this example. I'm going to click Always Trust Software from Oracle and click Install. VirtualBox is now installed. I'm going to click Finish. VirtualBox has now started, and now I can create a new virtual machine. So I'm going to click on New. I'm going to say that this is a version 2.5 HP Van SDN controller. I'm going to specify the operating system as Linux, and the version needs to be Ubuntu 64 bit. I'm going to click Next. Memory, give it at least 2 gig. So in my example, I'm going to specify 4 gig, but if your computer doesn't have enough RAM, give it less, but at least 2 gig of RAM. Click Next. I'm going to allow VirtualBox to create a virtual drive. I'm going to choose the default, which is VirtualBox Disk Image, and click Next. I'm going to allow it to dynamically allocate disk space so that it doesn't try and allocate it all in one go. Click Next. Virtual Disk, I'm going to give it 40 gig of space. Click Create. And VirtualBox has now created a VM. I'm going to click on Settings to edit the settings. So as we can see, the operating system is Linux, Ubuntu 64-bit. Snapshot is set to the default. Go to System. In this example, I've got 4 gig allocated to memory. Specify according to your hardware. In this case, I'll give it 4 CPUs, but once again, that depends on your hardware. 16 meg of display is fine. What's important is when you go to network, in my example, I'm going to select bridged adapter, and I'm going to specify my network card. This will allow me to SSH to the server from my Windows machine. You could, as an example, specify NAT or internal network, but that means you won't be able to SSH to the controller. And I want to do that from my Windows machine, so I'm going to bridge it. Now, one thing I need to do is specify the ISO image. So I'm going to click on Storage, click Add CD, choose Disk, and here you need to specify the Ubuntu ISO image that you downloaded. I'm going to click OK. Click OK again, and click Start to start the virtual machine. VirtualBox starts up, and I'm prompted to specify an install language. I'll select English. Now to release your mouse, press the right control key on your keyboard. And now I have released my mouse. That allows me to escape my mouse from the virtual machine. I'll click close on this pop-up. And now I'll click back and install the Ubuntu server. I'm going to select English as the language, United States as the country, I'm not going to allow Ubuntu to detect my keyboard layout. I'm going to specify a keyboard of US. So keyboard layout is US. Ubuntu starts to install components. I'll pause the video at portions where Ubuntu is simply installing software, and I'll only record where necessary. So as an example, we need to specify the name of the system. 
I'm going to specify SDN CTL, as in SDN controller. For the username, I'm going to specify SDN, and that's going to be the username for the account. Password, I'll specify Skyline, S-K-Y-L-N-E, Skyline. I'm happy with the weak password, as this is a lab. I'm not going to encrypt the home directory. The system gets time from an NTP server. The IP address was allocated via DHCP previously. I'm happy that I'm located in London, England, in this example, so I'm going to select yes. I'm choosing the default option as guided, use the entire disk and set up LVM. Select the disk partition. I'm happy to write the changes. I'm happy with the default size of the partition. I'm happy to write the changes to the disks. I'm gonna select yes to write the changes to the disks. Ubuntu now installs the base system. If you're using a proxy server, enter the details. In this case, I'm not using a proxy server, so I'm gonna hit enter to continue. In this example, we're not gonna use automatic updates, so no to automatic updates. We wanna install the open SSH server so we can SSH to the Ubuntu system. None of the other software is required, so I'm gonna hit enter to continue. The software is now installed on the Ubuntu system. The Grub bootloader is installed. We asked whether we want to install the Grub bootloader to the master boot record. I'm going to say yes. The installation is finishing. The installation is complete. I'm going to press enter to continue. VirtualBox is rebooting. Ubuntu is now booting up. And as we can see, we have a login prompt. So I'm gonna log in as SDN, password of Skyline. And as you can see, I've successfully logged in to the Ubuntu system. I'm gonna type ifconfig to view the IP address information. I can see the IP address of 192.168.56.93. So in PuTTY or another SSH client, I can SSH to the server. I'm warned about the identity of the server. In this case, I'm happy that I'm connecting to the controller. And I'm now prompted to log in. So login is SDN, password is Skyline. And once again, ifconfig shows me the IP address of the server. It's a lot easier to use SSH. So at this point I can use the command sudo apt-get update to update references on the Ubuntu system. Put my password in. The system now connects to the Ubuntu cloud and updates references. I'll pause the video at this point so you're not bored by this process, but it's good practice to use apt-get update to update the references on the Ubuntu system. That concludes this video. This is once again one of a series of videos discussing the installation and setup of the HP Van SDN controller. Please refer to HP's website for additional videos in this series. Thank you for watching.